Welcome to Tracy K Kids. Today we're going to learn to simplify some fractions. Now these fractions cannot be simplified. See the top number, they're all ones. Nothing smaller than one. Here, if they're the same number, like two over two or four over four, it divides down to one over one, which is one. Okay, here the top number on the top is a two. The bottom number is a four. Will two go into four? Yes, it will. Two times two is four, so that makes it one half. Same thing with the bottom. Three will go into six. So if you look at that, it's one half. This is the easiest way that I found to simplify. Just see if the top number will go into the bottom number. So five will go into 10, yes, times two. So it's one half. Same thing with four eighths. It's gonna go down to one half. Okay, now this is a different method. It's called uh, greatest common factor. What you do is you see what will multiply to make six. Uh, you start with the one. One times six is six, of course. Now, will two multiply times anything to make six? Two will multiply times three to make six. Same thing on the bottom, the nine. What will divide into nine? Will one go into nine? Yes, times itself, one times nine. What about two? No, a two will not go into nine equally. What about a three? Yes, three times three is nine. So if you look at the common factor in both of these is the three. So what will multiply times three to get six? A two, so that's gonna be the top number. And then on the bottom, we already said that three would multiply times three to make nine. So the answer is two thirds. Okay, if you look at the numbers on the right, they're prime numbers. Nothing will multiply into these numbers to make them any lower. So three fourths cannot be lowered anymore because nothing is smaller than three. And remember, we're looking at the lowest common factor. So that's why the four cannot be reduced. Therefore, if you look at the rest of these fractions, the 5, the 7, the 11, the 17, and the 19, none of these can be reduced anymore. So right now, I just suggest that you practice till you learn how to do this for yourself. Don't forget to watch the other videos about fractions. Thanks for watching.